tapos na ba? Si Mama Patroy nga pala nasa, ne uh, ne nasa nectar ngayon. He's working there. Hindi pa ako makatulog. Kagigising ko lang as a matter of fact. <laughs> so, meaning, hindi pa ako matutulog. Dahil kagigising ko. Okay? So, anyway, uh, I didn't really mean na palitan yung mukha ko doon sa ano, sa sa video na yon Kasi, naglagay kasi ako ng ano, ng, tawag dito yung mascara. Yung mas, hindi mascara ha, yung mascara pantakip sa mukha. Yung mascara makeup ba? Naglagay ako ng mascara makeup. Hindi, usually, hindi ako naglalagay. So, I thought, maglagay ako ng mascara para lumaki yung mata ko. So, and then, it so happened siguro na pagkalagay ko, na-smudge siya, pumunta dito yung mascara. So, it really looked te terrible. So, ginawa ko kaya, sabi ko, since na ayoko naman na mabaliwala yung aking, ano, yung aking video at that time. So, ang ginawa ko, naghanap ako ng apps na na itatakip sa mata ko. Kahit yung mata ko lang, katulad ng sunglasses or whatever, or eyeglass, gano'n, ba diba? Pero wala akong mahanap eh. Yung, yung mga apps na yun, para sa mga picture lang. Pero pagdating kasi sa, sa, ano, sa video, ibang, ibang usapan si pag sa video, kasi ang hirap maghanap ng apps para lang uh, matakpan mo ng eyeglass yung mata mo. Then, of course, dahil nga sa... Alam mo na, pag nag-live video ka, especially if you don't have any script na ano, so, pag inulit mo yon hindi mo na masasabi uh, na talagang katuloy yung pagsabi mo kasi nandun lahat yung emotions mo, andun lahat yung uh, way mo of ano, para para mai ano lahat yung mga sentiments mo o kaya para ma-express lahat kung ano yung uh, nasa loob mo. So, para sa akin a while ago, I thought na ah, hindi na baling ano, hindi na baling hindi ko nalang uulitin, basta ang importante, matatakpan ko in a way na maghanap ako ng isang app. So, nakahanap nga ako ng app, and then, nung I realized na, ah, okay to. So, tinakpan ko yung, ano, yung, yung mukha ko, para matakpan lang sana yung mata ko. Pero, ang dami nag-react. So, I felt, I felt really bad, kasi, why do I have to explain, di ba? Why do I owe anyone an explanation? Kasi, it's not, it's not because I really wanted to, to hide myself, kasi, Natural, if you are really, um, if you are really involving yourself in a certain uh, situation or in a certain topic, pagkatapos, eh, itatakpan mo lang pala yung mukha mo, parang sasabihin nila na nagmamatapang ka, pero ayaw mo na ipakita yung mukha mo, para bang, uh, bakit ka nag hide sa isang mascara or isang uh, uh, apps, mga gano'n. Hindi, hindi yun ang purpose ko eh. You know me, ako nakikibangga ako, naki, uh, bumabanat ako, kay, kahit kay presidente, na talagang mukha ko talaga, walang takip, wala ako nilalagay na mascara, na, yung mask, gano'n. Eh, nagkataon lang talaga na kahit makita nyo talaga yung ano, well, pinost ko a while ago, kahit makita nyo, pangit talaga dahil nag-smudge siya dito, dahil siguro pagka, pagkalagay ko pa lang, and then basa pa, and then idinilat ko ng ganon, so napunta dito yung mascara, yung mascara makeup ha, kaya it really, it really showed na talagang, it will really look terrible talaga. But anyway, so yun nga ang aking explanation, pero natural, ako naman, ayoko kasi yung kung ano na yung naipost ko dyan ayoko, huwag nyo na akong pakialamin so, kung trip-trip ko na lagyan ng kung anong mga picture ko kay mga videos ko, wala na kayong pakialam dun kasi hindi ko naman pinapakialam kung ano yung mga pinopost nyo, diba well, bago kayo mamintas tingnan nyo rin kung anong pinopost nyo diba, hindi rin ba katawa-tawa mas lalong katawa-tawa pa nga, as a matter of fact <laughs> but, wala akong pakialam eh trip nyo yun eh, facebook nyo yan eh wall nyo yan eh, so Huwag nyo rin pakialaman ko ano yung ipopost ko, diba? Ganun lang yon. So anyway, uh, just like a while ago, I was looking at ABS-CBN and then nakita ko na yung mga uh, mga artist nila ay talagang nakahilera talaga sila. They were really marching somewhere else around Esguera. Uh, just right in front of ABS-CBN lang, talagang uh, they did a, uh, a rally. Ewan ko kung ano, how long it took or how long... Uh, how long did it take for them to to do that? Kasi by the time it was ongoing na, uh, nakita ko yung mga taga-probinsyano, and of course, kung sino-sino pa yung mga iba't iba pang mga artist, yung mga iba hindi ko na makilala, kasi natural, kasi gumagabi na rin kanina, and of course, uh, they had a very, very limited ano uh, light din, kaya hindi ko talaga makita kung sino-sino yung mga nandoon. So, uh, anyway, yun lang, 
ang sa akin lang naman, it's not because I am uh, trying to uh, to be on the side of ABS-CBN. Well, on uh, on the constitution side, kung ano man yung na, ano nila, na nagawa nila, na kaya nga sila binigyan, binigyan ng, ano, ng cash or whatever, well, I am out of that jurisdiction. Okay? That's not me. In order to be able to Uh, to justify them kasi hindi ko alam ko anong ginawa talaga nila ko ano talaga yung mga talagang uh, related doon sa mga isinampa ni uh, Kalida ni Soljen for me I'm just I'm just on the side of the press yung freedom of the press freedom of expression and of course katulad ko ren tayong mga mamamayan uh, uh, hindi naman natin pwedeng i-give up ang ating freedom to speak di ba because that's our constitutional right na freedom of expression okay that is our human right so if ever na tinanggal na yon yung uh, human right natin meaning to say they are the ones who are violating already the, the constitution kasi hindi naman siguro mailagay kung ano yung mga human rights na yon uh, in order to protect us kung talagang hindi talaga nila pinag-isipan na hey, kailangan din talagang meron kami human rights otherwise we will not live in a democratic country anymore okay wala nang democracy kung sakali man na na talagang i uh, i, i manipulate iko-control ang ating mga media or iko-control ang ating mga mamamayang Pilipino especially us na wala kaming uh, control in terms of the government pero since na i believe that uh, we are governed by uh, uh, a body a governing body of the people, by the people, and for the people, meaning to say, kasama tayo sa gobyernong yan, it's not only them, kaya nga tayo bumoto, kaya nga tayo nabigyan ng karapatan para bumoto kung sino yung mga gusto nating iboto, o kaya pumili kung sino yung mga gusto nating piliin in terms of governing our country, pagkatapos later on, kung sino na yung inilagay natin doon, and then all of a sudden, bigla tayong sasakalin. So for sure, doesn't that doesn't really give us a uh, uh, a right para ipaglaban din natin kung ano rin yung karapatan natin bilang mga mamamayang Pilipino. So, iyon ang hindi natin pwedeng i uh, i give up, 'di ba? We cannot just give up our freedom to express ourselves lalong-lalo na if we are not If we are not satisfied kung sino yung mga tao na talagang akala natin from the start, they are really doing a certain job na inexpect natin. Pero if ever now we really found out na sandali lang, mali na ata ito. This is no longer what we expected before, before uh, during the election, okay, before the election. Pagkatapos, later on bigla tayong tatanggalan ng karapatan para ihayag din kung ano yung damdamin natin, kung ano yung mga statements natin, kung ano yung mga sentiments natin, kung ano yung mga disappointments natin, kung ano yung mga bumababag, bumabagabag sa atin. And that's the reason why, yun ang pinaglalaban ko. I have nothing against the president na nagbigay uh, ng sentimiento in terms of hindi daw niya uh, nakuha kung ano yung expectation niya at the time, especially if he was already able to pay kung ano yung advertising na supposedly ilalabas ng ABS-CBN and of course with Robin Padilla as his uh, endorser. So, kung ano man yung sentiments niya, well, I really feel his sentiments in terms of that. Pero yung mga sinasabi nila mga different allegations na hindi raw nagbayad ng, ng tax o kaya hindi daw nagbayad ng utang ang, uh, ang ABS-CBN, well, I am sure that kung sakali man, if ever a certain uh, a certain bank or kaya a certain financial institution would commit a business with a certain company, for example, I am sure na meron silang pinag-usapan. And I am sure na kung ano man yung nandoon sa contract nila, well, I am sure naman na ABS-CBN is actually doing uh, its responsibility in order to be able to comply with all the requirements or to comply with all the, uh, the agreement kung ano mang banko yon kasi iyon ang inilalaban din nila eh well lahat daw yung mga pera na na ginamit ng ABS-CBN is coming from uh, a financial institution from the government pero hindi naman siguro magbibigay ng 
ng any amount is ang financial institution kung sakali man that they really they didn't really make an agreement na talagang ma masusunod ko ano yung agreement o kaya kung ano yung kontra. So, kung ano may mga allegations na yun, as long as they were not really included kung ano yung mga sirampa ni Solicitor General Kalida, well, that's out of the topic for sure. Okay? So, ngayon, yung narinig ko na sex, uh, section 11, no, actually article, article 11 section 1, or section 6, as a matter of fact, article 11 section 6 sa uh, sa Philippine Constitution. Wala namang naibanggit doon na bawal ang isang establishment na kumuha ng mga foreign investors. Isa na sa matter of fact. That was just referring to, for example, a financial institution, let's say, let's say for a bank or a credit company, uh, which is being limited, okay, which is being prohibited uh, in order to in order to lend some money to a certain person who are really involved in the government, especially those government officials. So we're referring to president, vice president, or any other uh, government official na uutang, for example, in a financial institution na talagang galing sa gobyerno. For example, kung uh, uh, Depart Department, uh, I mean, Development Bank of the Philippines, DB, uh, DBP, or whatever, ayun ata yung nabanggit ni President, no? Well, wala namang nabanggit doon na tinutukoy na any any company is not allowed to to uh, you know to get a foreign investor or whatever. Hindi akala ko yun yung tinutukoy doon. Pero when I have uh, when I have heard that on TV, so tiningnan ko, wala namang ni refer about the uh, foreign investors or whatever, but it was referring to a certain financial institution who is not allowed to loan some money, yeah? It's not allowed to lend some money to certain individuals, especially if this person is coming from the government or a government official. So, ganun ang nangyari eh. So, kung ano-ano yung mga allegations bago uh, magbigay talaga ng conclusion yung mga iba because it's not everything that the president had said ay eh, talagang yun na yun, di ba? Katulad yun, sila ng presidente, hindi nagbabayad ng buwis and then, of course, as we had uh, searched already, na ang, uh, ang mayor of Quezon City, which is Belmonte, she has just said that ABS-CBN is actually the biggest taxpayer. And of course, according to BIR naman, walang uh, duda na talagang ang ABS-CBN naman ay nagbabayad talaga ng tamang tax. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Okay, because sometimes like, uh, binibrainwise tayo ng mga tao na nakarinig lang sila ng ganyan coming from the president but of course the president he cannot even cannot even uh, give any uh, any uh, case like that against them kasi hindi naman talaga siya mismo yung nag, ano eh, nag, uh, nagdulog ng kaso but it was the solicitor general so so hindi naman naisama yung kaso kung ano yung sinasabi ni President uh, Duterte katulad yon yung sinabi niya na nagswindle daw so it's uh, it's considered as estafa or swindling yung sinabi niya na nagbigay siya ng a certain amount of 2.8 million to ABS-C and all of a sudden hindi daw nila pinalabas kung ano yung supposedly papalabas na advertisement so since hindi naman naisama doon sa kaso, well, ibasura din natin from the uh, from this point. So ngayon, dahil nga sa sinasabi ng ating president na hindi niya talaga papayagan, he's not going to let the ABS-CBN uh, get their renewal in terms of their franchise. So ibig sabihin na parang minamanipula or kinokontrol, okay, ni-influensya niya ngayon itong mga sangay ng gobyerno natin, especially the uh, Congress, okay, the House of Congress. Kasi as we know that the House of Congress is actually the one in charge in terms of franchising. And of course, doon sa mga Senado, uh, they're getting involved na rin dahil nga sa, of course, alam na natin na it has a lot of... Um, factor din kung ano yung magiging decision din ng uh, ng uh, the Senate, di ba? Ng, ng mga senators or the uh, the Senate, okay? Kasi marami na talagang ano eh, marami na talagang uh, nagsasalita ng kung ano-ano and then of course there are also like uh, before employees, yung mga ano, yung mga former employees, mga ex 
ex-employees, <laughs> hindi ex-convicts, ah, mga ex-employees of ABS-CBN, they're just coming out right now that they are actually contributing certain topics na hindi naman talaga naiuugnay kung ano yung 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 ano problema ngayon na kinasasangkutan o kaya the issue di ba katulad ni Mel Chanco hindi naman pinag-uusapan kung paano siya uh, tinanggal o kaya kung paano siya nag-violate din kung ano yung rule ng ABS-CBN of course in certain situation hindi ka naman basta ilalay off na isang company or in a certain uh, institution kung alam nila na wala ka rin uh, violate na rule nila and of course as you can see nabasa ko naman kung bakit eh ako naman din sa sakali man, nagtatrabaho yung isang tao tapos I uh, had my uh, full respect, okay, full trust on this person and all of a sudden, bigla na lang siyang uh, gumawa ng isang bagay without my authority or without even my knowledge or without my permission, okay, at least knowledge man lang kung sakali man na if I don't actually own uh, her decision, for example, katulad niyang ginawa ni Mel Chanko, nang ginawa pala niya uh, uh, nag, ano siya, nag, uh, gumawa siya ng isang commercial without the knowledge of ABS-CBN and of course siguro dahil nga talaga sa contract niya while she is in contract of uh, under ABS-CBN I should say uh, while she's in contract under ABS-CBN I am sure na nakalatag doon sa kanyang kontrata na if ever na there's gonna be a lot of other offers coming from uh, different uh, different places or whatever and then kailangan i-involve pa rin, kailangan pa rin na, na isang guni o kaya uh, with the authority or with the permission at least or with the knowledge of kung sino man yung uh, kinakasakangkutan niya at the time. So I am sure that she has really violated some parts of that and then according to her, na ayos naman eh, di ba? So kung ano man yung naging gusto nila, wala namang kinalaman dito sa gusto ngayon ng government, of course, uh, with the government of, uh, with, with the government And of course, with the ABS-CBN. Tapos, si Jay Sosa din, sinasabi niya na ang dami ng paninira tungkol sa mga empleados or whatever. I mean, he was even referring to kung uh, uh, gusto daw talaga na mag promote yung isang tao and then kailangan, alam yung palakasan ba? And of course, in terms of the the ladies din, kailangan daw parang may kapalit, parang mang isinesel na rin nila yung ano nila, yung kanilang prinsipyo or kanilang body or whatever. Well, hindi lang naman nangyayari yan sa isang kompanya lang eh. I'm sure na nangyayari din sa iba't ibang mga companies din. Kung talagang if that person, especially if that uh, if that girl or lady or that woman has decided na to take to take advantage of the fact na gusto niyang ma-promote or whatever, well, kailangan utak na lang iisipin niya, utak na lang gagamitin niya. So, kung meron mang gumawa ng mga ganun, well, sana hindi na gagamitin yun para siraan ang abs ben because this is really a very, very low life. Okay, yun lang masasabi ko. Hindi na kailangan mag-come up pa ko ng mga personal accusations or personal or whatever because bakit kung sakali man iyon ang ginawa nung kusi nung mga tinutukoy niya mga babae whatever bakit anong ano anong anong pakialam niya doon di ba kung sakali man na ginamit nila yung kanilang pagkababae in order to uh, to to advance their Uh, their their career o kaya in order to get promoted or whatever I mean na, nasa kanya-kanya nilang uh, decision nasa kanya-kanya nilang ano eh disposition o di ba kanya-kanyang ano yan eh di ba gamitan lang naman kung sakali man di ba marami naman tayong alam na pagdating din sa mga showbiz for example kung gustong mag-advance sa isang tao and of course you know she cannot do it for herself So, iba't ibang mga paraan, ako, as soon as I entered into showbiz before, I used my money. I used to have a lot of money in order to give and, and, uh, and of course, you know, para lang ma, ano ko yung may advance ko rin yung pangalan ko. And of makilala ako, uso pa rin mga write-ups nun, kaliwat kanan, bayad dito, bayad doon, millions. Okay, so I use my money. Pero yung iba naman, dahil wala silang pera, they use their body. Yung iba naman, they use their whatever. Kung ano man yung mga ano, para lang may advance nila. Kung ano yung gusto nila talagang tahakin sa buhay nila. But we are not in a position to judge them. We are not in a position to crucify them. Buhay nila yun eh, di ba? Katawan nilang ginagamit nila, fine, that's okay. Pero we don't need to use all those para sirain naman ang isang istasyon. That is a very low life. Yun lang masabi ko kay Jay Sosa, okay? 
uh, laki pa naman dati ng ano ko sa taong yan ang uh, respeto ko pero if he's really using all those kung ano yung mga expose kala niya siguro uh, para makuha niya kung ano yung mga ano ng mga tao sa kanya but no that is a very low life di ba i mean focus on what is going on focus on what is being uh, laid there para at least yun yung issue eh kung mag-focus tayo doon, walang problema. Pero kung hahaluan nila, haluan pa kung ano-ano mga bagay para lang masira ang isang company or whatever, that is very low life, okay? So, ganun lang sa akin. As long as we are not going to give up our human rights, especially in terms of our rights, uh, right of speech, okay? Right of speech, uh, our, our freedom in order to speak our kung ano yung mga sentiments natin. So, that means to say that we are not willing to uh, give up our freedom of expression. And especially for those people in the media, it's very important they shouldn't, they shouldn't also uh, surrender kung ano yung kanilang right in order to be uh, able to to write down, okay, right able to be able to to express kung ano rin yung gusto nila ipahiyag in terms of sa mga news or in terms of TV or in terms of radio or whatever. Kasi pag ginib up na natin yan and then wala na tayong karapatan later on. So we have to be really careful on what we are willing to give out. I mean to give away. Kasi para bang tinanggal na talaga tayo, tinanggalan na talaga tayo ng karapatan talaga para ma-express na rin natin kung ano yung karapatan natin para magsalita. We are not here. We were not born in order to shut our mouth na wala na tayong karapatan sa ating bansa. And especially if we were the ones who were actually there for them para magkaroon talaga sila ng pwesto, para magkaroon sila ng trabaho, para magkaroon naman tayo ng leaders, para magkaroon naman tayo ng mga people in order to protect and serve us and all of a sudden, just in one bang like that, tinanggalan tayo ng karapatan. No. No, 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 no. Yun ang ipaglalaban ko at I am sure naman na yun din ipaglalaban ng mga press people and I am sure na kung sakali man naagaw na nila yon para sa atin and then we are all dead. And we cannot be able to do anything else otherwise. Dahil, wala eh. Ginive gin up natin eh. Kasi once na give up na natin, all of a sudden, tinanggalan na talaga natin ng, uh, na tayo ng karapatan, pantao. So, are we really willing to give out, okay, to give up our freedom, human rights, uh, freedom of expression, uh, freedom of the press? Wala na, wala na, di ba? So, kailangan talaga yung mga nagbibigay talaga ng kanya-kanyang comments or whatever. Oh, so what if wala daw ang ABS-CBN? Hindi eh. Kasi pag wala ng ABS-CBN, and of course, if they can really do that to a giant company, they can always do that to any any other company, especially in terms of the broadcasting. Eh, paano yung mga iba rin? Diba? So, ibig sabihin, ginawa nila dito sa pinakamalaking uh, broadcasting company, and how much more did sa mga maliliit, Eh di wala na rin silang karapatan, totally, di ba? Because automatic na mawawala na talaga sila ng karapatan kasi matatakot na rin sila na kung nagawa nilang tanggalan talaga ng karapatan itong napakalaking uh, broadcasting company and for sure they can always do uh, the same thing to the rest of the broadcasting company. So wala na talaga tayong karapatan talaga. So ibig sabihin kung ano lang yung mga gustong ipalabas, okay, gustong uh, topics, okay, gustong uh, ipahayag ng gobyerno at iyon na lang, that's really unfair, di ba? That's really unfair. Eh, samantalang sila, sila mga nandyan sa gobyerno, especially the senators or whatever. And then, for sure, they know the fact that may kanya-kanya rin silang karapatan kung sino ipipiliin natin. So, kung sila, may karapatan sila, nabigyan talaga sila ng karapatan in order to speak out this. Kung ano yung gusto nila talaga. And then, in order to choose din kung sino yung gusto talaga nilang ilagay sa pwesto, then why can't we have the same kind of opportunity and privilege then at the same time?